He is horrible interviewing, yo. So we recording right now? Yeah. Hey, what does it cost? Oh, Jesus Christ. You gotta wipe the lens off, probably. I'm Gucci. I can see both of you. Ooh. Wow. And she got me the phone. So, this joint is about Philly Comp. Y'all recording? We recording? Because I can always. Record the red button, right? No, it's the fucking blue one. What the fuck you think? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to press it? Hold on. Did you, did you look in this joint, though? Let me see. Is, that, is he a real cameraman? You just know this nigga from saying <laughs> my brother, man. <laughs> that's my brother, man. Come on, that's man. Real that's your real Why brother? Why is he doing it and yours not? He's got two bags. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why are you coming at you on camera? Yeah, why are you doing that on camera? You know what? Why are you doing that on camera? 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 So, the whole the documentary is about Philly comedy, man. My main question is, how do you feel about Philly comedy? It's it's ass, bro. <laughs> it's ass. Are you it's like, no, it's, it's it's definitely different from um from I hate when I say this, man. It's definitely different from when I started. Yeah, it, it is. made me feel old uh, when I say back in my day. But um, it's it's definitely a totally different scene, uh, totally totally different mindset that the comedians approach stand up comedy now. Um, but I do think it's more opportunities for people to do their own thing, create their own lanes, because that was definitely one of the things that catapulted me was, you know, I was tired of not getting on stage, so I started my own show. And then that kind of catapulted me into the upper echelon of comedians in Philadelphia. So I can't be mad at it, but I just don't think that um, the, the structure of being a comedian, that's what's missing from this day, a time when comedians do their thing. How, how do you feel about the Laugh House not being open. Like, oh, I had, the, the place where we all started. I definitely miss it because I don't have, that was my home club, you know what I mean? If ever, any comedian definitely wants to have a, a club where he can go to, relax, chill, uh, get right. on when he want, you know, just that home feeling and the fact that that's gone and right. we don't have a club, not even just for, you know, urban comedians, but just for comedians, period. Like, we don't have a home. Well, I don't have, I'm not going to say we, because I'm not speaking for every comedian, <laughs> but I don't have one in Philadelphia where I can just go to and, get on. and go, and not even about getting on, just if I want to just go hang out and chill, you know, I don't have that club, uh, or I don't have a relationship with any of those clubs here in Philadelphia yet, so that's the only thing I really miss, but at some point, you know, you definitely got to move on, like, that was kind of like a blessing for me that the laugh house closed, because I was like, it was like a crutch for me, like, I will always, you know, hinder on okay. that and go back to the Laugh House. So me being able to, you know, step out of that and it being forced to step out. Cause once it closed, it was like, damn, what else you gonna do? So then that was my opportunity to get out on my own and start doing what I had to do. But, you know, I do definitely miss it to this day. Okay. Um, Let's get shit. <laughs> <laughs> Told you you ain't know how to interview. <laughs> can I get my cut questions, that out. Just cut that out. My Yo, your car full, Big Daddy. Huh? Your car is full. That's what you say? Yeah. God, they hit me a joke up. Don't worry about it. I'll use my phone. Sorry about that. We can always edit this. Hey, you're yeah. sweating, bro. <laughs> it's hot. How do you feel about the internet comedy? Like, like I see you don't do that. I mean, it's, I don't I don't have nothing against it. You know, it's, it's, it's pros, and, pros and cons on both ends. Mm -hmm. And for one end, you know, those are the dudes that are selling out comedy clubs just by doing skits now. Uh, they material up to where they need to be? No, but... But they're not funny. Yeah, but, I mean, you got to look at it. At the end of the day... It's a business. That's the one thing that Miss Mona from the Laugh House told me. This is a business, and they're not in the business to, you know, tell you who's funny or not. And we wish it would. They're in the business to sell wings, sell food, and sell alcohol. So if they could, whoever's going to put more people in that establishment to do that, that's who they're going to book. You know, do I think that's right? No, but it's good business. And at the end of the day, this is, you know, show business. So, you know, but I don't have, I don't gripe about it. You know what I mean? Because I'm working. You know, right. only people that's rapping about it is the comedians that's not working. Okay. You know, is the ones that's not getting booked. So I guess when, maybe when I stop getting booked, I'll complain more. <laughs> but at this point, you know, I'm not complaining about it. I mean, mm. do I agree with it? No. You know, do I? What happened? His phone? Put it on airplane mode. <laughs> <laughs> keep getting sexy or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> I get a nigga thing? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tell you, dog. My personal belief is, seriously, all jokes aside, that I think some of the funniest comedy comes from Philly. Yeah, funny. I mean that could be true. I mean, no, I mean not. I mean not really. I think Chicago has the more, more funny cats that's 
established. They got a lot. Chicago got a lot. Chicago? Yeah, they got a lot of comedians that's that's hitting, that's doing something. Maybe from Philly, okay. we don't have anyone. I mean, we have some funny cats, but we don't have any funny cats that's known outside of Philly. You know, Kev, that's probably it, to be honest. Michael Blackston. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we just got cast as funny here. Like, the world don't know about Teray. The world don't know about Charles Walden. The world don't know about uh, Denny Love. They don't know about these guys. So I can't say that we have we have some funny dudes here in Philly, but outside. No. And I think that's another problem with Philly comedy. We don't never leave. A lot of, a lot of cats stay here, uh, and they don't want to venture out. And, you know, I know comedians... That they've been doing it longer than me that have never been booked in a comedy club. And that shit to me is just astonishing that you've been doing comedy so long you've never been booked in a comedy club to do anything, host, feature, anything. And that was my first thing when I started doing comedy. I was like, look, I want to be in comedy clubs. Because being at the Laugh House, that was the routine that I wanted to do. I wanted to go to a city, be in a comedy club, from, or be in a different city from Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Do my thing, so Dave, come here too, man. We all gotta get Dave one. Camera. I said we gotta get Dave. Oh, I said Dave Temple. Come, come, come on, in. Now why you said fuck that? Yeah, Dave Temple, another it's, dude. You can tell this shit ain't legit. Come on, son. <laughs> 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 hey, <laughs> that's why. That's why. From the beginning. Another dude. You said tell. Some people Temple can edit and post and make it look. You know what I mean? No, but that whole thing about Kev. Kev really and he's from Philadelphia, but I don't want to say that. Like, Kev, they didn't fuck with Kev until he got, until he blew up. So, like, when people be like, it came out of Philadelphia, mm -hmm. that's sure, not true. Sure, sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, man, it's the truth. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. That's I know. the truth. But so, see, but like, we, when people say, I hate when people say, like, he came from Philly. But we like, live in a time now that's so fucked up that you can't criticize motherfuckers. Why can't? Me. Who you criticizing? But, I, but that's what I'm saying. I, I, I agree with you. Who I agree. But the way you... Are you saying I'm criticizing Philadelphia? No, 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 no. She said Kev basically... Fuck with Kev until he got went outside of Philly, which is true. Yeah, but that'll that, that make it look like him. they really fuck with Kev like that. They didn't. Didn't. Okay. they didn't. They didn't fuck with me while I was here. They didn't fuck with him while he was here. Philly don't fuck with you till you leave and then you out. So plain and simple. I got a lot of motherfuckers now and be like, I see you doing your thing. Yeah, I Think about I see Lawrence. Doing. When we, we used to have took him Tuesday, what he used to be like. Yeah, you come down. I'm my, I'm my baby. I see if I get you up. You know what I mean? But like, you were never booking me, right? <laughs> you were like, I was. Yeah, and I booked me. Right. Now on the left, I was surprised. My first time recognizing that Lawrence fucked with me was when I popped up in Atlanta. And then and he came through like, yo, y'all niggas doing y'all thing, and it was a, it's a whole different vibe, you know what I mean? Because it's like, oh shit, mm -hmm. y'all niggas is in this shit for the long run. Y'all really out that here doing it. That is true, though. That is true. That's you a know, whole. I can't say that, but that's not. Uh, it's not really. Uh, um, I wouldn't say it's a thing about not fucking with people. It's just that when I, I want to see that you want it, I want to see that you're doing something, that exactly. you want to do something. Like exactly. yeah, a lot of cats just say, "I'm a comedian, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that," and then. They don't really do shit. You see them for like a good six months and then they gone. Yeah. So my thing is like, I'm not just going to jump out the window for some cats that's not really going to go in. Like, so I got to see if you're doing your thing, you're doing, you're going, it's going to be seen. Right. If you really want to do it and you you can see that somebody's doing it, you're going, you're going to be noticed. Okay. So yeah, of course, like in the beginning, it's like everybody want to get up. Okay. Everybody want to come down. I, it was a packed out room. Everybody yeah. want to do a show. Yeah. So when you see a cat over time doing their thing, you like, all right, bet this dude is he legit, he really wanted, even if even if he not funny or whatever, but I just see he wanna do it or Correct. Here's, here's here's how I feel about it. Like I always been the type of dude who like seeing niggas get put on. Like I seen it for real for real, when I came up, before us, before our little squad started, it was Black Michael Blackson, Kev, Toure, D Lee, uh, and uh poor Mr. Buck. I went to community with these niggas. Like I mean, I watched them like when I first, before I even started, I used to watch them. And, they, and Buck had, when Buck had the uh, the uh, open mic before Wid had it, then Buck went to jail. So then a couple years later, I started doing comedy. And that's when me, Spank, uh, Joe DeRosa, we all started. And I'm saying, like, then that's when y'all, y'all group came in. You, uh, what's, what's the one that's, that, that's on? Uh, Derek. Derek. Derek Gaines. And I mean, and, I, and I'm watching each group of, of people be successful. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I love seeing that. I like seeing motherfuckers going forward, not yeah. going backward. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, you left. I was shocked when, when Hawk told me with to Atlanta, like, yo, you doing your thing. I'm proud of you. Like, yo, you got, because for real, for real, like you said, you got to leave. Where the question is? Mean, <laughs> 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 I'm 
I'm waiting. Like, you see, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the question. <laughs> this is an interview. I'm like, really? He ran down his shit. Back in the day. Actually, the comedy game evolving. I mean, it's, it's, it's evolving to a digital world. Yeah. To be honest with you, it's, it's, it's evolving from being on stage and writing with a pen and a pad to, you know, Making a caption and editing and do your video. That's mm -hmm. what it's turning into. To I be see, honest with you, it's I just turning into that shit too. Like, I mean, I don't care, man. Nah, the, like, the, the joint you said editing any NBA players, but he did the the, the, the mad. Yeah, man. I mean, it's, it's, I, I mean, said that. There's no way. Funny. Like, there's no way. Like, another thing with that, man. It, the, the, when people say, like, I don't believe when people say somebody stole well, yeah, the, the video. Funny. I mean, no, he did, but. <laughs> <laughs> But the thing is, it's just so much. Like we all see the same thing. We all follow the same people. We all watch the same shows. So we're going to come up with the same content. So the only way for that to change is if we don't Break look down. at certain things and do that. So I don't. When people, when, even when I see other comedians do videos or side by side videos of the same topic, like you're going to talk about the same right. shit. So Back like that's day. what. At that point, you can't really. Like you can't get mad. It's on the internet. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like how, how he can say he got it from Matt and like or whatever. He, he can say whatever. He might not have took it from me. I'm not saying he did. I'm not saying he didn't. Like there's no way to say that. But it's everywhere. So that's like something that you can't really, you know, get mad at. And even even with comedians that say, you know, cats, you know, or they they turn their jokes into videos and they think that's still Hey man, you shouldn't have said it. The fuck. Like it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like. Period. These internet dudes, they don't care. They got more view views than you do. So even if you do say it, at the end of the day, who are they gonna believe? A nigga who got six thousand followers or a nigga who got four hundred thousand? It doesn't even matter at this point. So just. Right.